hello guys what is up so in this video i'll show you how to send email verification to your user after the login or registration so let's get started okay before getting started if you have any queries or questions related to android studio or editing you can text me or dm me on instagram and my instagram handle is so yes you can do that so with this said, let's get started. So first, um, if you see, let's just log in into this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Login. Uh, uh, if you want to see my video on the login and registration, I've uploaded a video previously. You can see that. As you see, there's nothing here. So with this, let's start integrating our email verification. So first let's just design the related layout, let's just add a text view, this text view is for the user email, this text view is for the user UID and uh, I'm sorry, and this button is to send the verification code. So let's name it send verification code and then let's go to text and then here send verification code your email id and your uid okay okay once this is done let's go to our main activity or java and then let's classify these private button let's go here here um copy paste okay private text view um user email I'm um, sorry user UID copy paste UID okay now okay now we need to do the firebase part so for the firebase let's do private firebase auth and auth and then uh, firebase user and user okay now let's initiate this first let's initiate our firebase auth which is m auth is equal to firebase auth fire sorry firebase oops firebase auth dot get instance and now m user is equal to m auth dot get current user okay now let's do the same for the buttons and the text view so for the button send verification code is equal to find you by id r dot id dot send verification code and now for the text view let's just copy this one line paste paste copy this paste paste copy this paste paste so now what we need to do is once we click on this verification code button we should get the verification code so for that let's do same verification code dot set on click it's your new on click listener okay now over here let's call a method or uh, send verification code now let's create the method over here public void send verification code um not this okay so now what we need to do is m user dot send email verification dot add on complete this no new um sorry this dot uh, new on complete listener and then let's just add our uh, on failure listener new on failure listener let's put this okay on complete let's show the user a toast so let's create the toast toast dot make text uh, main activity of this and then uh, verification code sent to and then let's show the user email id that is mu sorry m user dot uh, get email now let's uh, add the length length will be short show 
okay so this is done and now for our failure let's just uh, add a text saying a verification code or fail to send fail to send okay now this is done and then now uh, to retrieve our email id the user email id and uh, the uid let's create on start method over here and then let's create string email is equal to m user dot get email and our string user uid uh, user uid okay, let's just add a uh, current user uid is equal to m user dot get uid okay now to put this into our text view which is this uh, let's just do user email dot set text email and then now uh, user uid dot uh, set text current user uid so this is done and then this is done okay one more thing never use hardcoded string now this is done okay now let's run our app okay as you will see there is user verification code to this email id right here so for that let's click on the verification send verification code button and let's click and now let's wait for a few seconds and there will get a toast and then in few seconds we will have received a mail too so let's just wait for a mail and there you see we've got the mail so let's just click the mail and here you go hello follow this link to verify your email address now let's just click this wait for few seconds depends on the internet and there you go your email has been verified you can sign into your new account so guys um, so this was for the verification and now in the next video i'll show you how to send custom verification that is how to make your own verification email and how to see if a user has been verified or not but for this video that's it thank you for watching have a great day maybe, maybe.